In this video, we're going to learn how to make a radar chart in R. Now, I am not aware of a good base or ggplot function for making radar plots. So we're going to use this package called FMSB, which includes a function for making radar plots. So we're just going to start with a basic radar chart. And I'll show you how you have to structure the data to make this work. So you want to store your data in a data frame. And each of the columns is going to be named one of the different features that's going to be on the different points of the radar chart. So in this case, we're going to be using some data from Marvel.com on different superheroes. And for the first one, we're just going to make a radar chart for Iron Man. Um, and on their website, they have different statistics for these characters from the comic books. So for each column, you first actually have to enter the maximum and then minimum values that you want for that statistic. And then you enter the actual value that's going to be associated with the character. So for instance, here we're saying strength. The max value for the plot is seven strength and the min value is zero. And then we're saying Iron Man has six strength. And you just do the same thing for every other statistic here. And then to actually make the chart out of this data, we call the radar chart function. That was a part of that package that we already loaded in there. We pass in the data set first. We already constructed that. So that's really the hardest part of doing this. And then we just have a couple extra arguments to help set up the plot. Here we're saying we want seven segments because each of our attributes here goes up to seven. We're giving the plot a title. And we're just specifying some color options and line width here. So let's run this and look at what the result is. So let's scroll down and we can see we have successfully created a radar chart here with the statistics for Iron Man from Marvel's website. Now I'll also show how to make a radar chart that overlays multiple individuals on the same plot. So we'll show how to do that below. It's going to be very similar to what we did above. We just need to basically construct a data set that includes more characters. So here we're going to make columns again. Let's start with the maximum, the minimum, and then after that, we're putting in values for each of the different characters that we want to include. So again, we're going to include Iron Man as the third column or the third row, but then we're going to include three more characters. So we're going to have Thor, Spider-Man, and Captain America, and then we have to include data for them in each of the each of the columns. And when you're putting multiple individuals on the same plot, you also have to include the row names. Next, we're just going to define some custom colors for the plot. You don't have to worry too much about this. These are just to make the plot look nicer when we make it. And then at the bottom, all we have to do is pass in the data set that we constructed to radar chart. Again, we're going to do seven segments, different title. Here we're passing in the custom colors we defined above for the colors of the plot, also setting a different line width. And finally, we're just going to add some code to put a legend on the plot so that we know which color is associated with which character. That's what this is doing. So let's run this one and see what we get. You can see here we did manage to create another radar chart, this time with different characters overlaid. And we can inspect this a little bit and see that Thor seems to have the highest overall stats even has max speed and strength, but Captain America has the highest fighting skills, but he seems to rely more on his actual combat knowledge than innate speed or strength. And of course, Iron Man, Tony Stark, has a very high rating on his intelligence, while Thor is a bit lacking in that category, only having a score of two. Now, radar charts are also sometimes called web charts or spider charts, so I thought it was a good idea to include Spider-Man on this one. Now, radar charts are probably not the best way to convey complicated information. It's actually often hard to t distinguish between different values on different axes because they're laid out radially and trying to take in information that way is kind of difficult. Also, the area of the polygon that the character's stats create depends on which point you put each stat on. So it can actually change depending on that order, which means the plot can be a bit misleading since a larger area would seem to indicate higher overall statistics, but that is not necessarily the case depending on the ordering of these stats and where each character happens to come out. But they are visually interesting, so it can be a good way to display data in a context that is more for fun and less for serious analysis. So thanks for watching.
All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.